All right, let's see what Magdalene's tainted version is like. Lethal hugs, items heal more, yum heart. Lethal hugs. Yum heart. Oh, no, there we are. It appears to have given us different types of hearts. Our base damage is low. Our speed is normal. Wait, that heart vanished. Why does she start with below average damage? She has okay tears. Is it because it expects you to damage with the anemia effect? No, no, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, I don't know what the Deadly Hugs thing was about. Wait, as the enemies drop health, I'm losing health? Is that what's happening? Let me kill... oh, too late. This will be a good test of whether or not it's just going down in general. Oops. Yeah, it vanished. It's like it's redropping my health, I think. It's like taking my health to do- oh, I couldn't take that though. Oh! If I hit enemies in point blank, she swings at them. But you do still get hit. So, is the trick that you need to give yourself a bunch of temporary health and then swing at people in point blank? Didn't I get it? Oh no, no. We didn't get a spirit heart yet. I don't know if she'll be able to take them with the way this is working. I don't like that sound effect for the big gulp on this yum heart. Alright, gimmicks and whatnot aside, like, there's no reason to make her damage be so much lower than base damage. That's just, oh, normal Maggie's really bad to play as, so let's make this one bad in some way too. That's a joke. Hmm, I need to find an HP up to know whether or not she can actually get more health. Oh, spirit hearts are temporary as well. Reusable regeneration. <laughs> so she can only have two actual health at any one time. She's like the keeper, but worse. Actually, I don't remember if the Keeper starts with base damage. He might do. I thought he did. Mm, Spirit Heart seems to be draining slower than the actual hearts, though. That one didn't drop any at all. What is up with these floors? I should have just held R instantly because the cellar is garbage. Oh, 
Oh, I lost half a spare hour at some point. Yamar is on a four charge. Oh, is that blocked by the bed? Yeah. Four charge. How are you supposed to like get and use devil deals with this character? I guess go angels, maybe? I think it wants you just to walk into stuff and I guess live through bosses with 2 HP. Yeah, that seems to be it. Items would be nice. That could be really good with her, actually. Because it hits enemies who are close. Yeah, see, he's not dropping hearts because he's not dying. So you can't really use her mechanic against bosses. It isn't lowering her devil deal chance though, you're right. It probably does on the actual health. Yep. Two of hearts. And just take Chaos card to get an easy boss kill, I guess. Back up to a hundred percent. Don't think that was worth stopping to look for hearts, honestly. They disappear so fast though, I don't like having to like focus to that amount. Although it does clear rooms quickly to just walk into stuff. Like there's like zero skill involved. <laughs> just walk into things. I guess we'll just do the boss since we're here. Yeah, can't use our mechanic against bosses, which makes them fairly redundant. Oh, that did not come out in the direction I was moving. Did they change Chaos Guard so you chuck it randomly now? Rage would be good, yeah. Okay, is it proper HP? It's not. I mean, it would give you the heart container, I guess, but... Don't want them, because we wouldn't want enemies to go away from her. Oh yeah, Nun's Habit would be good with her, yeah. I don't really like the character. This goes in the bad list, I think. 
We just got a, an item that works really well with her, but I don't like being forced to go quickly. That's amongst my biggest pet peeves, honestly. Uh, sure. Want a berserker? That's why you have tainted Samson. He literally goes berserk. And that's why they give you bad damage, so it forces you to run into stuff. Or maybe because her contact damage scales with damage. That's what it could be. Pretty fly. Pretty fly. Where's my why are my item rooms so goddamn far away? No, I am room first. Bye, Trunks. All set, sir? Okay. Didn't quite bring us to base damage, but that's to be expected. Actually, I will take Rebel Breed just so we can guarantee our shops not having greed in them. What if we only do bad curse rooms as a joke? Yeah, this has absolutely no scaling. I would imagine. So the later floors is just... You, hope, you better have good tears by then. Or else... Like already some enemies aren't dying in one swing. I'm just fishing for um, demon's horn, devil, what's it called? Curved horn, that's the one. Blanked on the name there for a second. pennies. Oh yeah, when the spirit hearts turn into pick upable red hearts, they're not pick upable because you can't restore a spirit heart with a red heart. Holy water is a good Bob's brain now, so it's not too bad. Embrace chaos. Oh, this is potentially interesting. Never mind, it's largely rubbish.
Look at her face. Yeah, she's happy. She's got one of them brain fixing things stuck in her skull. I think he's only good for the tears up, really. It is fine, I suppose. Hello, Rokalf. Wasn't that in the... Oh no, Binky is an item remake. No, wait, no, Binky is a boss remake. But Chaos didn't affect it. I guess it's just chance. But... Oh, that's the Witcher medallion. Really? I was like, why am I still taking damage? I couldn't see the enemies creep. Because it looks identical to my anemia. behind a little bit there, but this young heart restores two hearts. This young heart is four rooms. Ooh, there we go. Plus four damage. Still the best trinket by a mile. We might actually be able to start shooting at stuff now rather than running into them and kill them quicker. Although that's bad as this character because they still drop the hearts. As if I'd walked into them, even though I didn't. Now, enemies like Larry Jr. are perfect for regenerating lost health. That's on the assumption our contact damage scales like that, which it might or it might not. Yeah, actually it seemed to there. She's grinning like that, but with the sucker in her mouth. Really hoping for that shop not to be greed so we could take advantage of chaos, but what can you do? Yeah, we are doing a lot of contact damage. How to jump? Maybe she has some like hidden effect that her floors are larger than average, because every single floor we've had has been bizarrely large. And it's, for once it's not just because I'm finding all the dead ends. If we got to the boss fast enough we'd get the boss rush, but I don't know if I want to do that or not.
Nah, we're not gonna be fast enough to get the kill, I would imagine. Thank you, Chaos, I guess? No, that wasn't worth picking up, I was forgetting, of course, it's just... It's incidental help. Well, no, it is. It is worth it, because it's... It, we can refill them. But they are just gonna empty. Oh, hello, Bumble. I've heard you want something, but I don't remember what. Bumble one Bumble? Yeah, that probably sounds right. I need to find the last shop in the hopes that I can actually spend in it with chaos. Bumble one piece, no piece. One piece? Blah, 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 blah. Quite the damage down, which if I'm walking into enemies who didn't need to take. Hello, Nightbringer. But oh well, I took it anyway. Yeah, we're too slow for boss rush. What do you do? Luck up, you feel protected. Mmm, debatable. A gift for you. Thank you, an anonymous gifter, for gifting three months? Three months of a tier one sub to Nightbringer. Very generous. Walk into the nose. Destroy her. You're laughing and I'm laughing more. Sacred Heart, do it. Still a good selection. I forgot it wouldn't necessarily be items for the Angel deal. I'll take flight though. We have infiltrated the womb. Don't be weird about it, I'm talking about our mother's womb. Oh yeah, we're taking double damage now, so without the wafer I'm not so sure the gimmick works anymore. Because we're going to make a net loss on every engagement. Now if we had the wafer, that wouldn't be the case. Well, we don't. It's weird. Does the holy water heat seek there? Yeah, it's just a straight up net loss now, so the, we can't use the gimmick here at all. Don't feel as bad about taking mini mush now. Bold decision to add a gimmick character that you can only use the gimmick for for half the game. Later. Unless you have one of two items that I can think of off the top of my head that give you half damage. Wafer and the... Uh, 
Do you feel protected thing or do you have to get hit once for that to kick in? Also, I said gee you. I turned very Scottish there. It's because I was speaking to my sister. She sounds a lot more... A lot more how stereotypically people think Scottish people sound. Spare of the night, won't be using that. I mean her Babylon. I knew what it was, I just said the wrong name. Did I expect good game design in a fetish game? Look. You're right, but you shouldn't say it. My sister does not sound like an American trying to do a Scottish accent, no. I am the one who causes the fetish game a lot because it's got some issues with poop, yeah. Allegedly. Well, I don't think I've directly called it that, mostly just implied. Oh yeah, I have Bomb Boy. Should be letting him have the money now. You're good, but not curved horn good. Your sister has the London accent even though you're from the Midlands. Have you suggested that she gives it back? Give the money to Bumble. Damn it. Oh, I can't fight the gravitational force. Sorry, Bumble, I keep forgetting. Because Valinor keeps stealing loot, so I have to grab it quickly before he gets a chance to look at it. It's becoming grained. Isaac me. Oh wait, that's my name. No Coins for Bumble sounds like his, like, the title for his sad autobiography when everything's gone wrong. Like the behind the music version of Bumble's life. I actually made it to Hush even though I missed Boss Rush, that's funny. I don't want to try Hush. 
We've got good fire rate and nothing else. And we'd be on a ticking clock against his super armor, so absolutely not. We need a good run to fight him. Nope, absolutely not. Because of the mechanic, I would die to time if I didn't die to getting shot. We don't have enough damage. And the super armor gets too powerful if you have high frequency of shots. Wait, I can fly. May your hunger be satisfied. It's the new temperance. Uh, temperance. The, the new version of temperance just gives you a bunch of pills. What's that have to do with blood? He doesn't necessarily spawn a bunch of flies. He might spawn like the flies sometimes or the like the little versions of himself, but that's no guarantees. He could also just spam the dimensional shots over and over. to try and get close enough to get some of the red hearts have failed. A mod that slowed down how quickly they despawn would be nice, just for like being able to play at an enjoyable speed. the greed drop any health there? Oh, maybe because I didn't run into him? Oh, Bumble! Let Bumble get coin! Bumble, get him! Oh, we found Isaac. <laughs> yes, you stay in that holy war. Bumble's just going to shoot at the wall if you don't mind. Basically, I have to kill him quickly because he's not spawning anything. And we don't have a lot of damage. He's now not going to spawn anything, so basically, I think I'm on a time limit. Which is what I was thinking of would happen with Hush. Although, I guess you can't drop below the two normal hearts, so that's their excuse. Like, do hush without ever getting hit more than once. Bumbo is not doing his best. Have you seen Bumbino? That's Bumbo doing his best. Bumbino wants your coin and he's going to take it from you.
none of this helped really, so we just have to hope that we live for one room. Well, two rooms now. Oh, that's Bumble once he starts juicing, that's a shame. This is a perfectly cromulent situation to be in. Yeah, no, we're dead. Great character, yeah, really great.